You saw the title, I'll show you how to make a phone for your Roblox Studio game. Let's go. So you want to go into Starter GUI and search Screen GUI and you want to make sure you ignore GUI and Set and turn off Reset on Spawn. And now you want to insert a frame and this is basically going to hold your phone so it's going to be the size of the entire screen and you just make the background transparency one and i'm going to name this container you can name it whatever you want and now i'm going to insert another frame and this will be our actual phone always remember to change your offset to zero so that it stays the same size on all devices so after you do that you just want to go up here and drag it out like that make sure you have this at the top of your screen if you don't see that you want to go to test and device if you just click on that then you should start seeing this over here so now you just want to make a rough estimate of how big you want the phone to be so this will be relatively how big i want my phone to be now you want to add a ui corner once again you want to make the offset zero and you want to make the scale something like two is a bit too much all right that seems good i'm going to change the size of this again there now it starts looking a bit more like a phone and i will change this color to black and this is going to be sort of like the background of our phone and now i'm going to insert another frame and i'm going to copy the settings from the one we just made so now it's the same size and you just want to duplicate the UI corner and drag it into this. So now I'm going to change the size of the new frame a little bit and so I'm just going to change it to that so it goes all the way like that and there's some space over here but there's no space at the bottom. So now I'll show you how to make the side buttons. So you want to make a new folder and this will hold all your items that are not actually that important. So I'll just name this miss like miscellaneous and insert another frame. And once again, I'll change the size to zero, 00 so that there's no offset and we'll change this. So what you want to do is change the size to something like that. And as you can see, that's sort of like the volume button for your phone. So I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to put this one right under. So now we have two volume buttons and just change the color to black. And as you can see, we have the volume buttons for our phone now. So now I'm going to add the power button. Remember that the power buttons on phones are actually bigger than the volume buttons. So that looks good to me. And you just want to rename these. So now I'm going to add stuff to the home screen, like the actual apps and the batteries, the data, whatever. So you want to create a new folder so that it's more organized. And inside this, you will add your frame for the app and i'll just rename this to app and each individual square inside will serve as your app so i'm just going to change the size you guessed it i'm going to remove the offset and make this one comma one which is the maximum size this is just so that i can adjust the size later on like this and now you can see we have a perfect square and i'm just going to duplicate this multiple times like that and center that and now i can drag this down down again now i'm going to show you how you can customize the background so this can be your wallpaper so there's two ways you can do this the first is just you can change the actual color of it to whatever you want but another way that you can do it is by adding a ui gradient and this is actually the method that i prefer and inside this you can change you click on these three dots over here and you can now change the color to something like Let's just go with a light blue, blue, green, mint ish color. And here I will make that a little bit darker. There we go. And now you can change the rotation of the phone and I'll change the colors of these frames because they look ugly. So now I'll show you how you can add the time to the top of your phone. So insert a frame. So a suggestion I have is that whenever you're making text labels or text buttons or whatever, you always want to have a frame that serves as your container. So remove the offsets, change this, and change the background transparency to one. And now I'll add a text label. And you wanna make this text label the maximum size. So you wanna go one comma one and change the background transparency to one. And make sure you have text scaled enabled. And I'm just gonna change the font to something nice. Let's go Fredoka one. And the text color to something. Okay, that looks good to me. And now I'm gonna say, just keep this text label empty. And now I will insert the script, just paste it inside. I will have it in the description. And boom, there's a script. Now if I test the game out, it should show the time here. 
So as you can see, it's 12.24 a.m. Yes, it's really late. I'm tired. So if you look at the actual iPhone, you'll see how there's a battery and the data and everything else at the top. And I'll show you how you can add that to your phone so that it looks more realistic. And the first thing I want to do is insert another folder. And now I'm going to add a frame inside it. And inside this frame, we're going to be adding the images for all the buttons and stuff. You can find them online. So you want to make this really small so that you can fit everything. And now just duplicate it. Put that over there and duplicate that so you can see they look all connected but trust me once you add the images they look separate so set the background transparency to one for each of them and now i'll drag in the pictures so i'm gonna insert an image label and you want to make this size one comma one so that it's the entire size and then make the background transparency one and then you want to check this particular box right here and this is where you insert your id so i'm just going to paste the id click enter and if you look here there's the battery it looks horrible i know and if you look at it you'll see that it's probably a bit distorted so the way you can fix that is by holding shift and then pressing the frame and image label and then change the size like that and now you can see it looks really nice but there's one thing missing these apps look really bad let's change that so inside our apps folder we can add a ui corner and then change the scale to something 0.2 that looks pretty good to me and just paste that inside all of your frames and that looks much better but we still need to add the text at the bottom of each app telling us what its name is so we can just simply do that by adding another frame and we put this right there at the bottom and change the background transparency to one and now add a text label with the size to one comma one and once again change it to text scaled and change the color to white and add a stroke the stroke transparency should be zero and now just change the text color to something nice that goes with the background. So I'm just going to make it like a dark blue color. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm going to change the name of this app to let's say Days Blocks. If you can't see it really well, I'd suggest making the text bold. There, it's a bit more easy to see. If you still can't see it that much, then just change the size. And now it looks much better. So now just copy and paste that for each of these frames. And now you can change these however you like. So now we can obviously add more features to this phone like animations and making it turn on or off. And if you want to see that, give this video to 15 likes and I'll make another tutorial on it sometime soon. Thanks for watching.